If children are the nation's future, our most precious resource, why do so many youngsters suffer the trauma of abuse, neglect, and abandonment? Why are they physically and emotionally scarred for life by family members entrusted with their care? Or lost in the court system with no future or hope? We can no longer close our eyes to the truth about the thousands of children who grow up in places and ways that are unimaginable. We can't pretend that these horrendous acts only happen on the other side of town, in other people's neighborhoods, when one child in six is sexually abused before their 18th birthday. And the state of Georgia ranks seventh in the nation in fatal child abuse cases. Each day across the United States, 8,000 children are reported abused, neglected, or deserted. Three children die from bodily harm, and 500 are placed in foster care or institutions. The statistics on child abuse in America, the greatest nation on earth, are enough to make you scream, are enough to make you sick. The question is, are they enough to make you do something? The system designed to serve these children is overburdened and understaffed. Social workers can't give adequate time and personal attention to each child. The money isn't there. The budget won't support it. The manpower isn't there. The system won't allow it. There simply isn't enough money time or manpower to make a dent. So the children wait and wait and wait. They're placed in foster homes and are often moved once, twice, three times or more while praying for some security, for something permanent. But since there aren't enough foster homes to go around, many children are placed in institutions but if you ask any child where he wants to grow up, the answer is always the same, a home. Who takes responsibility for the children when their families fail them, devastate them? Who's left to pick up the pieces? That's where CASA comes in. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. It's a beacon of light in a tunnel of darkness, a ray of hope in a world of confusion. CASA was the brainchild of juvenile court judge David Sokup of Seattle, Washington. It grew out of his frustration over the impossible task of deciding a child's future, temporarily or permanently, in a matter of minutes, with only a few pieces of information. He knew that our children needed more, deserved better. He knew that each child desperately needed one person to work his case from start to finish, to prevent him from getting lost in the very system designed to protect him. The CASA volunteer serves as a child's voice in court and is uniquely able to focus completely on the child in order to find a swift, appropriate solution to the problem. CASAs are the eyes and ears of the court and the program provides an innovative, cost-effective approach to a very urgent crisis. Over the past decades, we've learned that government can't solve all our social problems and that we must rely on ourselves. CASA is involvement for the community, by the community. Individualized advocacy is what it takes to ensure that the system works for and not against the child. There are over 500 CASA programs in all 50 states. The volunteers are men and women from all walks and stations of life who are making a difference. And in helping the children, we're really helping ourselves. Because the abused and neglected child of today is likely to become the criminal or abuser of tomorrow. CASA volunteers must meet certain basic qualifications. You must be 18 years old participate in a 40-hour pre-service training program and consent to a background check. You must be able to express yourself both orally and in writing and commit to the program for at least one year. 
A CASA has four primary roles. To assess the facts of the case they're assigned. To attend all legal proceedings pertinent to that case. To make recommendations which reflect the child's best interest. To advocate for the child until the situation is resolved. CASA came to Georgia in 1988, and there are more than 300 volunteers who account for over 25,000 volunteer hours for nearly 1,000 children. But it's only a beginning, because this is just 7% of the children who actually need a CASA. There are many worthy causes and needy people who ask for help. But who could be more helpless, more defenseless than a child? Statistics don't really tell the story of tragedy, but the battered faces, the tiny injured bodies, and the haunting voices of those who live with the pain and bear the memories do. Who can help these wounded little souls who have been physically and spiritually violated? If they're lucky enough to have one, a CASA can. Stop the hurt and help CASA give a child a fighting chance at happiness. Ooh.